so it's going to be the part of one of our course details at the end of this video i am going to give you the invitation about my online tattoo courses as well as the offline tattoo courses so do watch the video completely and get wait for the excited offers at the end of the video so let's get into the video tattoo needles there are four different types of needles available in the market first one is a round liner a round shader flat needle and magnum round liner is called as rl round shader is known as rs flat needle there are two varieties are there m1 m2 i will explain you what is m1 and what is m2 same way magnum there is a curved magnum as well as, well as soft edge magnum fine we can take a note it down now let's talk about the round liner in this round liner configurations there are a varieties of names will be there depends on the brands some of the brands will be have a normal liners as well as the buck pin liners some of the brands will be have a tight liner super tight liners and then the short throat and the long throat so different different types will be there i am going to explain what are all the different different configurations mostly known as by the tattoo artist and what is available in the tattoo field so there are two types are available in the market two configuration mainly one is standard pin another one is called as buck pin so standard pin is nothing but the thickness of the needle what thickness that needle is going to be as we all know we use a lot of ball point pens when we use the pens they have mentioned in that 0.5 mm 0.35 mm 0.75 mm i hope you all know that right so it depends on the thickness they mention this mm on that pen tip ball point pens in this on the needle standard pins will be comes anywhere around 0.3 to 0.4 mm okay but i think it's a little clumsy let's do it here 0.3 to 0.4 mm and buck pin when we talk about the buck pin it's going to be much more narrowed the thickness of the needle will be much more narrowed so this will be anywhere between 0.2 to 0.3 mm the thickness of the needle and this definition will change as a brand to brand some of the brand will be have a 0.2 to 0.25 mm some of the brands will be have a 0.15 to 0.25 mm so it depends on the brand the needle thickness is going to vary what mm i am going to talk i am talking about is for example this is a needle and this front portion i will explain you here it's going to be round like this this diameter of the needle this is the diameter of the needle so buck pin and standard pin will be measured by the diameter of the needle right i hope you all understand correct i think i'm going it correct and then the proper speed if you guys have any doubt please do comment me i can help you out what are all the doubts you have in this okay and the next configuration most of them will be have is short taper and then long taper many of the artist even a good experienced artist have this doubt what is this short taper and what is this long taper and what is the use of this short taper and the long taper so go back so as we all know the needle is going to be the different strokes like this inside the strokes the inks are going to get filled right we all know about this so short taper and long taper is nothing but this length of the needles which is going to hold the ink it will be bigger and smaller short taper the length will be little short and the long the length will be much more lengthier and this long taper can able to hold lot of inks inside due to 
it can be able to hold lot of inks inside when you do it as a tattoo it can be comes for the longer duration so that is the main purpose of long taper and short taper mostly people uses magnum as well as a shading people will be go ahead with the long taper because it holds a lot of things so we can do quite some time the tattoo round shader or magnum if you go ahead with the short taper it will absorb the ink little much and when it's pouring it out it will be pouring it out at a single or two times so you need to keep dip the ink so when you go ahead with the short long taper that problem will not happen i hope you all clear let's move on to the next one okay now let's talk about the round liner and round shader what are all the varieties are there when talk about the round liner 5 rl 7 rl i should say 3 rl also 9 rl 11 rl and so on so this configuration varies brands to brand depends on the brand this configuration varies and when we talk about the round shaders the same way 3 rs 5 rs 7 rs 9 rs okay and when comes to the needles and the tips if you are a person using a modern technique cartridges then you no need to know about the tips of using the needle but if you are a person using a old traditional coil machine then you need to know the details about the tips as well as the needles i'll explain you what is tips so when come to the machine there is a holder and the needle will be flows inside correct so this one is called as tips this one is called as needle so if you are a person using a traditional machine then this part is for you and if you are a person using a technical one or most advanced one if you are using a cartridge you can fast forward this particular portion you can go for the next portion so let's go ahead if you are a person using a traditional coil machine you will be use this tips so here most important thing we need to remember is for example five rl needle you are going to take most of them what they do is they take five rt tips for five rl needle which is wrong why it is wrong because most of the artists do this mistake five rt meant to be and created to be for five rs not for 5 rl so they tend to go wrong way doing the just a vertical punch they go in the circular motion and do the different punches due to this different punches our skin may tend to get damage very easily you got the point you might have had this doubt from quite a long time right this is the reason behind it so now you may ask a question for 5 rl which tip should i need to use for 5 rl needles you should require to use it i will explain a little bigger in size so this will be the round liners proportion for 5 rl five needles will be there in the front same way for 5 rs it will become little more wide so it holds lot of things inside at the same time it will fill the skin very easily and smoothly so this is the difference between 5 rl and 5 rs 5 rs will be placed much more closer 5 rs will be placed with little wider so in that way you can achieve the exact output this is the basic configuration of 5 round liner as well as the 5 round shader and when talk about the flat needle m1 and m2 needles will be get placed like this this is the 5m1 and 3 this is the 5m2 so you got to know right 5m1 is flat on the single row 5m2 is on the two rows with the two differentiation so when you do with this m1 m m2 this is mainly for lining as well as the filling purpose i don't recommend m1 m2 for the shading purpose why because the edges will be show so sharp in nature and it will be cut 
So when you want to achieve the smooth shading, you could not able to achieve with this M1 and M2. But when you are doing with the Magnum, like a curved Magnum or soft edge Magnum, so the edges will be so curvy. That will be the most difference between this flat needle as well as the Magnum needle. So I would recommend this will be good for lining as well as the filling not for shading that you remember very clearly when we talk about magnum the needle will be placed like this curvy way and the soft edges will be there on both the sides because of both the sides soft edges are there when you do the tattoo you can achieve much more smooth effect because of this smooth effect as i mentioned earlier it will gives you the clear output that means it will not create any of the edges when you do the tattoo. So it will be looks more smooth. So you can achieve your gray wash effects, realistic effects very easily. I hope you guys have much more clear idea about this tattoo needles. And if you would like to learn more things about me, you can join in our online courses. As I said earlier, I have attached our online course links in our description please go through that once and we have an offline tattoo school also our tattoo school is the india's first recognized tattoo school and the biggest tattoo school in india so you can go through us i will attach our contact number do contact our relationship manager they can help you out to enroll with our offline classes as well as online classes also so i hope this video was very helpful and if you like this video do subscribe our channel and hit the like button for the youtube to be very happy i will meet you on the next video until then i'm suresh machu don't die nude